Let's take a closer look at some of the different ways that we can schedule a Teams meeting right inside of Teams. So I've gone ahead and launched the Teams app on my Windows 10 device, and I'm going to come to the far left navigation and click Calendar to get started. Here inside of Calendar, I can easily schedule a Teams meeting for the day by clicking on New Meeting button in the top right corner, or notice if I click the drop down, I can choose between scheduling a meeting or hosting a live event. We'll talk about live events in a separate video. I'm going to click schedule meeting and I'll go ahead and add a few details, including a title. Underneath title, I can click to add required attendees. Please note, if you are not actively using a class team with your students, you just want to schedule the meeting inside of Teams, you will have to go ahead and invite all of your students by adding them here so that they will get the calendar invite in their Teams calendar. Once I've gone ahead and added in my students, I can set the time and the date for the meeting. And because I'm not using a particular team, I'm going to leave add channel blank as well as add location. Notice below, I can add a few details for this meeting for an agenda. When I'm ready to schedule this meeting, I simply come up to the top right corner and click send. This meeting will be added to my calendar. We'll just give that a minute. Here it is right here. And it will also be added to the Teams calendar as well as the Outlook calendar of all of the students that I have invited. This is a great way to schedule a meeting with small groups of students or with your entire class or staff if you are not actively working inside a team. But what if you are actively using a class or staff team with your group? Well, in that case, we will come up to schedule a meeting again inside of calendar, and we will add a title for our meeting. We will set the time, and this time, notice that I'm not adding any required attendees. Instead, I'm going to click add a channel, and I'm going to select the team that my staff or students are actively participating in. I click on the team, and then I select the channel where I'd like to host the meeting. Please keep in mind that private channels are not available for scheduling meetings. We'll take a look a little later on at how you can add a meeting inside a private channel. So I'm going to select my team and select the general channel. And again, I can provide more details, uh, including an agenda for the meeting for all of my attendees. And I will once again click the send button in the top right corner. Now I see that staff meeting that I've scheduled here on my calendar, but if I go to Teams and I click inside of the team where my staff and I actively work, I will see in the post tab a post with the staff meeting link. Any member of the staff team can simply join that meeting by clicking on that post and they will see the join button in the top right corner. Let's go back to Teams. I can also schedule a meeting right inside of a channel in a team. For instance, here I am inside of a demo team and I can come down to the very bottom underneath the new conversation text box, and I can click the little meet now video camera. I can add a subject. And notice that instead of clicking meet now, I can simply click schedule meeting. And that's going to take me back to the calendar meeting event where I can provide more information. I do not have to add required attendees because again, this will be posted inside the general channel of my demo team. But here I can adjust the time 
and I can add more details for this meeting event. And once again, I just simply click send. And notice that I'm brought back here inside the post tab of my team in the general channel. And here I see that quick check-in meeting that we just scheduled right inside of the general channel. I'm going to go back to all my teams and select a class team that has a private channel. Since I'm not able to actually schedule a meeting inside a private channel for the members of that channel, I can actually come inside that channel and in the post tab, I could type a message or make an announcement reminding everyone that the meeting is going to take place at 830. And then everyone who is a member of the private channel simply comes into the channel around that time and clicks the video camera meet now. And here they can go ahead and simply click the meet now button in order to access that meeting. Now remember, any meeting you schedule, including meetings inside of Teams, get added here to your team calendar. One last thing I want to show you is if you're working with students inside of Teams, make sure you click on that meeting before the students join and come up here to the top to meeting options. In meeting options, you're going to want to set who can present. You're going to want to change this to either only me or specific people if you have a co-teacher or a co-presenter. By doing so, this will make all students automatically attendees when they join your meeting. Students can join the meeting by simply coming to Calendar in Teams clicking on the meeting and clicking join in the top right corner or inside of a team again they can just simply click on the post in the post tab of the channel where you've scheduled the team meeting and click join.